I am Son Goku. I ain't giving up until I become Hokage. Anime you. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Factory6 and today, welcome to Anime Review. Today's anime is 2014's Parasite. Let's talk about that. Now, if you haven't heard this anime called Parasite at all, I'm gonna talk about it. To me, it kind of reminds me of Death Note because of the suspense and action thriller in it. And there is a lot of death in the show, but not too much death death like uh, Attack on Titan where it's all gory and everything and shit like that or Berserker but either way here's what this show was about your main protagonist in this show is a boy named Shinichi who lives in Japan who lives with his mom and dad just a normal high school student one night a worm like alien tries to enter Shinichi's ear but it cannot go through so it tries to go through Shinichi's arm, and Shinichi realizes that this parasite is trying to go up to his brainstem, which he's cut off the flow of circulation from the alien parasite. Now this parasite did not take over his brainstem, but did take over his right arm. And this parasite's name was Migi. Migi is unable to take over Shinichi's brain, but now since they're bonded together by his right arm, they have to work together to understand where the parasites are coming from and why they're sent to earth and also that's why i like this show it, it's really mysterious to understand where these parasites come from there's multiple parasites in the town of where shinichi lives at and he has to battle a lot of them a lot of them seem threatening but a lot of them just want to live among the humans but here's the kick the parasites they need to consume human hosts and they need to take over that human host by well Devouring humans. And in Shinichi's heads, that's like, that's not right. That's not humanity. Humanity would never do that. But the theme keeps bouncing around in the show about humanity, what's right, what's wrong. Is it right to kill a parasite? Is it not right to kill a parasite? And that's something that I can compare it to myself. Say like for instance, I eat cows and they're a life form, but wouldn't the cows get upset at me for eating cows? And that makes you think about other stuff, like there's probably something more bigger and greater out there than just us. But let me stop getting all philosophical on you. Now let's talk about the action in the show. The action in this show is actually fucking phenomenal. There's not a lot of action scenes, but when they are, it builds up. It is fucking great and phenomenal. Now I'm not gonna lie, the animation for this anime actually quite surprised me. To be honest, I thought I was watching an anime in 2018, but it's 2014 and it looks so beautiful, especially with the parasites morphing and Shinichi using his right arm to like fight in combat. It's really cool looking if you you actually get a chance to look at it. <laughs> I know the fucking action, it's there. It's there and it builds up, especially on the fucking, uh, I can't, I, oh, I'm trying to remember, hold up, certain episode, but I can't remember. Now the characters in this show is wide diverse. They're talking about multiple different things with Shinichi, Miki, and Shinichi's love interest. He has actually two love interests in this show and he does actually take upon one of them. I mean, it just kind of shocked me because you know, in most animes, like the, the protagonist doesn't even know that he's a love interest. But this guy, he, he knows that he's a love interest and he gets the girl. It's, it's actually fucking refreshing for once. <laughs> It's really refreshing. Even the antagonist makes some good points in the show are talking about human nature. But I don't want to spoil any of the characters of this review. I want you guys to go out and watch this fucking amazing, good, and great fucking anime. You guys will love this. If I had to give this like a rating, which I probably am, I would give it fucking four Rasengans out of fucking five. It is great. Final fucking verdict, man. It is a fucking 8 out of 10. Must watch. It is fucking great. And it's only 24 episodes. If you have an afternoon to yourself, 
please go watch all 24 episodes 24 or 25 you can watch them on Crunchyroll or Netflix depending where you want to watch your um, anime on your streaming platform but please go out and watch this anime please it is great other than that guys I appreciate you guys coming to the anime review and I'm trying to make some more reviews on this channel I know I made a movie review about Sonic the Hedgehog about a year ago but I joined the army now that I'm in the army I have more time to make some videos and do reviews and stuff like that and I think it's actually kind of fun it helps me learn to talk a little bit better on camera and you know I get to put more stuff out on the channel also follow me on Instagram and Twitch if you want to see me live on Twitch I stream every Wednesday and Saturday at 6 to 8 o'clock so make sure you like favorite comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video cue the outro <laughs>